if there is something we need in this world more than anything else, anything else, it is empathy. It's understanding other people and understanding the world about us. This will come to all of us, um, yes, through life experience, but hugely through books. Um, because that is the way, most of us anyway, first learn about other people. Yes, we learn about our mother and our father lying there in our cradle. That's the beginning of understanding how they feel about us and how we feel about them. And then it takes it a step further when we're growing up and we realise that they've got lives of their own. But books take you much further. They take you all over the world, wherever the book takes you. You know, you can become a sailor, you can become a miner, you can become a mountaineer. You can become anything you want. And in the becoming of those characters in your book, you can grow old and find out more about old people. You, if you're a boy, you can become a girl and find out more about how it is to live your life from that perspective. Uh, if you are French, you can find out more about being uh, someone from Croatia. If you are English, you can find out more about a refugee who is washed up on our shores. It's all about empathy. And the only way that problems are solved politically, historically, in this world is through understanding and empathy. And I know no better pathway to understanding than uh, books. So read, read, and here's the thing, write, write, because that's the way we spread empathy. And if uh, you know, and you do know this, that disease spreads, we know this more than anything else this year, the same thing happens with empathy. If we educate ourselves through reading and find out about the rest of the world, then we spread this feeling of empathy all around. It comes back and back. And what we're not doing is clashing. We're understanding and understanding and understanding. So empathy is the number one. Oh, well, guess what Great. I've been reading? Your and Dapper's book, Clean Up. Oh, thanks. I'm learning so much. Oh, and this is so good. You know I love Rocket. Oh, love Rocket. Thanks. We have learned so much about what empathy is and why it's so important throughout all the activities that we've been doing today. But now it is time to act on it. And that's actually what both of our books are all about. They're all about putting empathy into action. Isn't that right, Nathan? Yeah, it's exactly right. And, you know, that was very, very important when I was um, writing Clean Up and thinking about basically all the stories Rocket's involved in, mm. is that she literally sees a problem and sees people who may need help or people who may want to join the group to see a big thing. And she gets everyone to work together to try and make the world a better place. I love that about her. She just, she goes and does it. It's acting on that yeah. feeling that she has, isn't it? That's exactly what we're talking about on Empathy Day. We talk about read, act, connect. So you feel something with someone yeah. and then you go out and do something. And that's actually what all of the stories in How to Change the World are about. Because here you've got, you know, examples throughout history and across the world where you see people who have felt with others and then gone on to do something to make a difference by working together to stand up for the planet, for nature and for the rights of other people. But it all starts with empathy. It's like this seed for social change, isn't it? It is exactly that. It's a seed for so many great stories. Mm. I, and also your book title is so important because we all need to remember how to change the world. That should be the thing that we wake up with every single day, you know. I hear that you've all been busy today thinking about what your embassy resolution is going to be. Yes, so a resolution is a small thing that you are going to do every day to show more empathy. 
And one small change, remember, can make a really big difference. That is very true. And once you've made your resolution, we want you to put it in a poster to share with everyone. You can write or draw or even make a collage of yours. And there's also templates available on the Empathy Lab website. So go check it out. Have you got some examples of other people's posters there, Rashmi? Because I've got a few here too. Yes, I have. And they look fantastic. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've got one that says, stop rushing around and really listen to my friends. Oh, that's so important, isn't it? I think I'm going to take that one as well. Really <laughs> I've got another one that says, find out more about my local food bank to see if I can help. Oh, that must be so important, especially during, you know, lockdown and all of that. So we all need to have to look after each other in our community, haven't we? Absolutely. And actually, you mentioned lockdown. Last year, obviously, Empathy Day fell during lockdown. And actually, we had some lovely resolutions come in. There's one here about looking after my neighbours, just looking out for neighbours and checking that they have enough food, you know, just checking in on them. I thought that was really lovely and just so important. That's so important. I've, I've got another one that says, try to listen 100% and not interrupt. Hey, that's a hard one for me. Me but too. I, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I know how how important it is because sometimes you'll miss all the important information if you're always just talking over people so I'm definitely that's definitely one of mine as well oh, I really love that one so I've been thinking super hard about what my empathy resolution is going to be and I think I've got one I'm going to show you the poster that I made earlier <laughs> and my empathy resolution is to Ooh. stop rushing around and really listen to my friends. Can you see it? It's a really Aww. big one. I've used different paper. I've used different pens. And if you look really closely, there's a tortoise <laughs> and, a, and a rabbit next to each other. <laughs> and they're friends. And both of them need to stop rushing around and really listen to each other. So I'm going to put that up in my window. But um, Rashmi, what about yours? I love that. That is awesome. So mine is really simple. I got my colouring pencils out um, and I like stars and rainbow colours. So that's what I did. My empathy resolution is to really listen to others and understand their point of view, especially if I disagree with them. And that last bit was really important to me because I think it's always easy to connect with someone when you agree with them because it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. But when you disagree with someone, I think it totally is possible to still connect with them and understand where they're coming from, why they feel what they feel, um, and, and to build that bridge. I think our hearts are big enough and strong enough to do that. Oh, I love that. And I think we need that more than ever. Just because someone has a different opinion doesn't mean you can't be friends. doesn't mean yeah. that you can't try and understand each other and you can still have a different opinion at the end of the day and still look after each other i think that's a lovely one i am going to put my poster up in the window to show everyone what my resolution is and i hope all you guys pin yours up too and if it's too hard get a grown-up or you know a person to help you out Absolutely. And we would love to see all of your empathy resolution posters. So please do ask a grown up to share them with us um, on social media using at Empathy Lab UK and hashtag Empathy Day. Yeah, that's right. And I'm really going to try and stick to it. So every day is Empathy Day. Absolutely. That was so much fun, Nathan. Love chatting to you as always. But there is this really good book I've got to finish. I'm going to have to run, I'm afraid. Oh, no, but I've got a really good book I need to finish too. So I'm going <laughs> to run first. Nice <laughs> chatting. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.